Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is about how to install the WebUpD8 PPA or Personal Package Archive into Ubuntu. This PPA will allow you to install Oracle Java 7 SE into your Ubuntu 12 or 13 desktop without having to go through a lot of uh, command line setting. The outcome for this video would be a, an introduction to the WebUpD8 website. They're uh, basically a, an Ubuntu Linux blog which delivers daily news tips and application reviews but also maintains uh, PPAs for Ubuntu. Install the WebUpD8 Personal Package Archive PPA and update all your Ubuntu PPAs. And then finally install Oracle Java 7 Standard Edition. The WebUpD8 PPA also allows you to install Oracle Java 6 or 8 if you wish. Requirements, Ubuntu 12 or 13 computer. It's used in Ubuntu 13.04 64-bit desktop, an internet connection, and of course you've got some additional info, the Ubuntu Web Up D8 repository, Ubuntu forums, and the Java SE documentation. While I have researched this material, I can't fully verify it'll work with all combinations of hardware and software out. So I've been asked to include a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop the video and read the disclaimer. WebUpD at www.webupd8.org provides daily Ubuntu and Linux news and application reviews. If you click on the About, you see that WebUpD is an Ubuntu Linux blog which delivers daily news, tips, and application reviews. And they basically follow Ubuntu and GNOME development and keep you up to date with everything new and interesting. Now one thing that WebUpD does is they maintain some PPAs or personal package archives similar to what Ubuntu does. But the ones that they maintain are ones that are, are not included in the Ubuntu repository. Here's a list of some Ubuntu PPAs. Oracle Java JDK 6, 7, and 8 installer. And we're going to be using this, this one here. If we look down here, we can see some other. And what these PPAs do, they allow you to automatically install software, like uh, in this case Java from the Oracle site, which uh, is not in the Ubuntu repository. And you've got themes. You have a whole bunch of different software that you can install from the uh, WebUp D8. PPA. Now one thing I want to point out, and you can see you've got a lot of stuff there. One thing I want to point out there, if it says, even though I say we, every PPA above and package has been set up by just one person, so be gentle if you encounter any bugs. So here the word encounter is misspelled. And I'm not criticizing, I don't want to criticize the person, but the only reason I want to point that out is before you use a repository that's not from official Ubuntu site, Make sure your uh, software and everything you've got is backed up on your computer. So if you encounter a bug that crashes your computer, you can recover it. In my case, I'm going to be installing uh, Java 7 SE into an Ubuntu 13.04, a virtual machine. Before using the WebUpD8 Java installer, you might want to make sure that you don't have a previous Java version on your computer. So open up a terminal. And the way to do this is Java space dash version. In this case, I don't have a j previous Java version. If you do, you may have to uninstall it using a command like sudo apt get purge open JDK 7 or whatever is installed. Uh, that's really beyond the scope of this video. So let's just add the WebUpD8 package manager sudo add apt repository ppa web up d8 team slash java of course you've got a password it says you're about to add the following ppa and we're just going to press enter to continue and it will go in and it's added now we have to do a sudo apt get update to add it to all of our updates so 
So that won't take that very long. And now we're going to do a, a Java install. sudo apt get install Oracle Java 7 installer. And it's going to ask for your why, yes. Do you want to continue? It's going to go through and install Java 7 automatically, pretty much. Now, it's going to ask for package configuration. And you have to agree, this is uh, one of the reasons why Ubuntu didn't include it, because you've got to agree to this license. So you've got to hit OK and yes, that'll finish in the installer. And it sends the uh, information back to the uh, Oracle Java download site, I imagine. Gives you a little uh, updates to show how much is, what percentage is downloaded so that you're not sitting there uh, looking at a blank screen wondering whether it's working. And you can also, this also will install Java 6 and Java 8, if I haven't mentioned that before. And the download is done. Now it's removing outdated cached downloads. trundling along. So now it's uh, also installing the Oracle browser plugin so that uh, web start, Java web start will work. And so now if I go a uh, Java version, I've got a 64-bit uh, server VM mixed mode and I have Java installed. That's basically uh, all there is to it to uh, install Java using the web up D8 uh, Java installer. As I stated before, make sure that you back everything up and make, you know, test it out and make sure everything works before you get really dependent on it. Thank you.